Did you know that on Amazon Seller Central, SKUs are case sensitive? I'll show you. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. You can see right here, here is an example of a SKU. And in both forms, we have capitals. And look at that. One of those letters, two of those letters there forgot to be capitalized. Now, this could cause lots of data problems. Um, my personal advice, I recommend doing all caps on SKUs 24-7. No deviation, always do all caps. I've seen some weird, funky, uh, non-proper case SKU bugs over my several years of managing accounts on Amazon. I've never once seen those same bugs when I use all caps on SKUs. Uh, so I highly advise and recommend using all capital letters whenever you're using a SKU naming convention. The other thing I highly recommend you do, come up with a SKU naming convention. So what do I mean by that? So if you have a product and I'm looking at my desk here for random stuff, I got some hot tamales on my desk here, right? I, I eat too much candy. Uh, tell me in the comments what your favorite candy is. So if I was going to sell some hot tamales and I wanted to be able to know more about this product from the SKU, make it easy on my warehouse to know how to ship it. I might put in the ounce quantity into the SKU and four digits to, for the UPC code. So I might have something along the lines of HT, which stands for hot tamale, four numbers for the UPC code, one, two, three, four, and then followed by 14 OZ. So that way, if I ever create a second SKU or a third SKU of different sizes, 28 ounces, 55 ounces, I can quickly tell the difference between my products because I came up with a standard convention to name all these SKUs that creates a system that allows you to scale all of your product data and makes it easy on you. So great, great SKU hack for you today. Um, hope you found that helpful. I have a dozen other videos where I talk about catalog management data issues Watch those videos here. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy.